to brush your teeth? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good morning guys. If you can't tell, today's gonna be kind of like a morning routine with a toddler. Um, so, ah! So first things first, we always get up and we brush our teeth. Getting up for me takes a fat minute and I'm glad Bex is literally exactly like me because it also takes her a fat minute to like actually wake up and get out of bed. Um, so we usually just like stay in bed and like cuddle for a little bit. And then we're like, okay, let's lock in. We got things to do today, let's go. Um, every day pretty much looks different, depending on like if I have plans in the morning um, or if we're, me and her dad are switching again. Um, but today I have her for the full day and I'm really excited to share the day with her. Um, but the weather has been so nice in Arizona lately. It's been like record breaking 100, like in the hundreds for the past like few weeks. Today, this morning, it's only like 70 something degrees. So I have been taking full advantage of that before it gets too cold. And because it's not hot anymore, I like to take Bex in the morning and we go and eat breakfast at the park and she really loves it. Um, so for breakfast, I usually make something like eggs or whatever, but Bex has really been enjoying bacon recently. Um, and I made some bacon to go with our dinner last night. I made like, a, like an Alfredo pasta and there was leftover bacon, so I'm gonna like cut that up, put it in some eggs and probably some potatoes and then we're gonna go to the park and it's gonna be a lot of fun, come here! Look at us! We look like a mess in the morning! <laughs> we look so crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah! Okay, let's get to cooking. We have the potatoes in here, I literally just turned the thing on. Bexley's whole thing is she loves to help. Um, anything when I'm cooking, anything I need to stir, um, any eggs I need to crack, she is on it. Does it make it a little bit harder to cook with her? Yes, absolutely, but I think that like this is creating some like, oh no, she just put the dirty spoon back. I think that this is creating some life skills and it's also just like a fun, you know, bonding moment. The way I parent, I feel like if I don't, if there's no reason to say no, then I'm gonna say yes. Does that make sense? Okay, if you if you hear a weird noise, it's the coffee machine that's right behind you. Um, there's nothing I can do about that because I need that coffee to survive. Good job. Good job. Yeah, we're gonna wash your hands, okay? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I transferred it into a little bowl and then any finishing touch to any breakfast I like is ketchup. Do you guys put ketchup on your eggs too? Because this is something that I grew up doing and I don't even like ketchup, but I feel like on eggs, it's the only way I can eat it. And I just realized that my lens was dirty this whole time, so that's really fun. Um, but I'm also gonna pack like a cheese stick and some like crackers and stuff, um, just so that if we're there a little bit longer, it's okay and she doesn't like get hungry. For breakfast, I personally, I don't know what is wrong with me. Yeah, let me see. A chair. A chair, wow. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like I just do not get hungry in the mornings. It takes me like a minute. Like I have to get up and do something and then I'll probably be hungry. Um, and I don't like to like, I like to listen to the cues of my body. Okay, so whatever Bexley doesn't eat of this, like I'll probably end up finishing just because I don't like to waste food, but. Um, that is why I don't have anything packed for myself. That coffee that I'm making right now is gonna be good enough for me for at least a few more hours. I'm not sure if anybody like cares about this part, but this is the coffee that I have been obsessed with right now. It's the Autumn Maple Coffee from Trader Joe's. It's so good. I'm pretty sure it's seasonal. So I'm gonna have to stock up on a few bags before like fall season ends. And then Chobani Creamer. My sister Kylie actually put me on to the cookie dough um Chobani creamer but this one is really good too the sweet cream one and then I've also tried the vanilla one and it's so good um but that's like my my very basic morning coffee pretty cheap you know pretty quick to make and then my freaking cups I don't really have like to go cups for coffee so I've been using my freaking Toyota ones that when I bought my car they gave me like a bunch of merch I don't know why um, and so it's been coming in handy though. I've been using these to-go coffee cups. Oh, thank you for helping. 
usually I would just put Bexley in the stroller and walk there just so I could have some um, exercise too but our garage is broken okay and that's like where we keep like the strollers and stuff and it's just so this is like so first world problem and I I know that when I say this I sound like an ungrateful brat uh, but it's really inconvenient to walk through the front door instead of the garage because the garage is right here and the front door is like on the side of our house and I don't want to have to like get the stroller out of the garage like the inside garage door like you know the just like the regular one and then like try and squeeze it through there and then try and squeeze it through the front door and then put it in my I don't know that just seems like too much work and I'm not gonna do it I'm not so yeah anyways we're gonna go to the park I'm so tired guys I need to like chug this coffee I'm just waiting for it to get to a right temperature we're here at the park there's people here so I'm scared okay it's like a mother and her kid, but I just get embarrassed like filming in public. Um, but there's not a lot of kids here, which I personally like. The last time we were here, I was here with my cousin and um, we have like really little kids. Like Bexley's almost like almost three and then her little cousin is like two and a half. And um, all of a sudden, like they, we, they've been playing for like 30 minutes and then all of a sudden like these like big kids, like teenagers came to the park and like we're like playing on like the little kid you know thing and it made me so nervous because they're obviously bigger and like they don't really they weren't really paying attention and so it was like we gotta go we gotta get out of here i like when the park is empty huh mm -hmm. do you like your breakfast yeah yeah it's yummy huh mm -hmm. what's that your water yeah the, i'm only feeding her because the table's a little far from the seat so she can feed herself. I'm just point for the for the people who are like, why are you feeding her? She can feed herself. I know. It's just like the ratio of the seat right here. Like, look, the ratio. Recently, I've been doing more of like an independent kind of play. Like, I let her just do whatever she wants at the park, go wherever she wants. Obviously, where I can see her. Um, but she has been like so attached to me since she was a baby like would not let me put her down at all And I feel like this has really helped her like kind of just be more independent and just like have independent play And it's really fun to like see her flourish and like see her creative side when she is you know playing by herself um, however She was up on one of the playthings and she took off her shoes So I don't know if you can see her but she's over there and that girl has no shoes on, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, okay, girl, whatever you want to do, I guess. Fish. A fish? Let me see. It's a fish. Let me see. What is that? A fish. A fish? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'm having a parent dilemma because I have to go to the bathroom so bad, but Bex is having so much fun playing. So I'm like, do I just like hold it or do I take her home? Because I don't want to take her home because she's having so much fun. Also, this is why like I need like, I have mom friends. Like one of my, I'd say she's a really close friend of mine, Angie. I met her on TikTok like two years ago. We had like this whole mom friend group. Um, I don't know why the group kind of just like fizzled out nobody really talks to each other anymore but angie and i still talk to each other and we still hang out but she lives in like queen creek and that's really far from where i live not really far it's like 20 minutes she makes fun of me all the time because i say that 20 minutes is, <laughs> is a long drive um but in the valley i'm just so used to everything being so close together well i'm really glad that we stayed actually because bexley made a friend a little girl that's just a little bit older than her excuse me than her um and she had a lot of fun but now it's like 11 like we were at the park for so long that i love spending the mornings outside with bex because i feel like it's just a good way to start the day you know getting vitamin d in getting all of our wiggles out because we were asleep all night now it's time to continue everything else we do in the morning i figured out not figured out but my friend autumn just texted me and today is actually our last day of 75 hard i've gotten a lot of comments 
um, saying how different I look and like just how healthier I look and that I've lost weight and that is so true. I haven't, I've only mentioned once that I was doing 75 hard um, but since then, today is day 75, which means it's the last day of us doing this challenge. Autumn and I did the challenge together, but we like, because we have like really genuinely opposite schedules, I haven't seen her much during these 75 days. Um, but since today is our last day and she's free and I'm free, um, we decided to do one last workout together. So that is what we're going to go do. Um, we go to Planet Fitness together. Melinda and I, when we go to the gym, we go to EOS. Um, but I have a Planet Fitness membership, and so does Autumn, so that's where we're going to go. And Bexley, because they don't have, like, kids club or anything, um, Bexley's going to stay with Lori, who is Autumn's mom. And Autumn's mom is, like, genuinely, like, my second mom. And she's Bexley's, like, third grandma. She got all these, like, um, dress-up things for her to like play dress up like a bunch of princess dresses and witch dresses and stuff so we're gonna go over there autumn and i are gonna go to the gym one last time for 75 hard it's still like in the 11 o'clock so it's still morning time it's not afternoon yet so this still counts for the morning routine um but this doesn't like happen um every single morning obviously um but after breakfast i will try to try and get a workout in just at home like with free weights and stuff while bex like plays or watches a movie or whatever um so this definitely is something that we try to do every morning well i try to work out every morning but today we're going to do what do i have on my finger today we're going to go do it with autumn at the gym I'm so glad the lighting's not good because we, I, well, at least I look like crap. I'm so sweaty. I do too. Our little, <laughs> our little workout, our last one. Oh, oh, so good. We're sweating. You can't tell, I'm but like, like we have sweat shaking. mustaches. Oh yeah. The sweat mustache goes Is hard. Real. Yeah. Um, oh. but we are done with our last 75 hard workout. We talked about it. We're still going to. We feel like. 75 hard just taught us a lot of good habits so we're still obviously gonna work out and like be excuse me be in our healthy girl era yeah just not as like strict. just not as strict yeah um but yeah we're really excited to be done um and we're gonna go get a salad right now yeah so cause we're so a just little, clean girl a little chicken caesar salad chicken caesar chicken salad, caesar salad. Chicken. oh my gosh my pores also, look at her nails. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. It's so weird working out with nails on because it's like so girly That's and then like I pick working up the out. So I'm like, then you're coming with me. <laughs> oh, that looks like Slenderman hands. Look at this, guys. That's oh, a sight to see. That's terrifying. I have, I have like chicken little hands. Oh, same. Look how tiny. No, I do not have chicken little hands. My I hands big, are tiny. Bigfoot hands. I have little munchkin hands. See, this is so little. I'm okay. so little. Anyway, this is getting weird. Ah, we're, okay. we're gonna go get salad. Bad lighting again, but basically we got the salad and go. <laughs> okay, we got the salad Bag and go. Acquired. Bag acquired. And we're back at Autumn's house. And mm -hmm. it's the end of the morning. It's afternoon yeah. now. So that's this isn't a morning routine anymore. <laughs> We're gonna so munch. we're gonna go munch we're on gonna lunch. Munch. We're gonna go munch on lunch and <gasps> cute. Yeah, that was cute. Oh, I'm, that was cute. I'm basically Dr. Seuss. I, I so just I'm gonna copyright that. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's trademarked now. Um, but that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I love you. Goodbye. Bye.